I use the term urban carnivore, and what I'm trying to portray here that Lucy, our first primate, morphed over to a carnivore type diet away from vegetables. And I know that's a lot of controversy, but just think back a million years ago, you're in a cave, you have to find food, that means you have to go out and get it. So I assume, and we'll have Don Johansson on the show to talk about specifics, but generally, what did Lucy eat? She was looking for meat. So the female generally stayed in the cave, hunter-gatherer. So the hunter had to go out and get food, and that was meat. Around the cave was the gathering of tubers and things that were locally grown, and they were fermented, fermented foods. That's where it started. So we are omnivores, meaning we can eat anything, but essentially we need meat to get the B12, but we can supplement with other foods to supplement our diets. But we don't really know what is in that urban environment, which foods are best for us, and that's why we need devices. We talked about Apollo Neuro, we talked about how it regulates our mood, and I'm sure there was a lot of anxiety with Lucy trying to find food and water. So I want this audience to understand that there are many devices, not just one device, that'll help us track our behavior in an urban environment. And I'm sure the audience has those devices or would like to hear more about other types of devices. So if you text me or post here and I will get back to you and we'll talk about some of these newer devices. There are many out there. This is just a few that I'm talking about today. So I'm really encouraged that we can solve this dietary problem that's plagued the Western civilization we know it's sugar, but where is it? Why are we not being told the truth? And I think part of it is the data that we're collecting. So that's my mission, get the correct data.